The Ontario government has failed in its bid to force the province's 126,000 teachers back to work through a court injunction. In his ruling against the government's request for the injunction, Mr. Justice James McPherson stated, quote, In my view, the Attorney General's motion is significantly premature. Moreover, the appropriate forum for deciding if the teachers have violated the School Boards and Teachers Collective Negotiations Act is the forum provided for in that act, the Ontario Labor Relations Board. The news brought cheers from the protesting teachers manning the picket lines and boosted their morale. In support of the teachers, the CAW members continue to join them on the picket lines. Several locals are using vans to bring teachers hot coffee, and the national office has run ads in various newspapers in support of the teachers' protest. To meet the need for child care while the teachers' protest is on, the CAW has set up temporary child care centers in a number of communities. In Windsor, for example, spaces for over 600 children ranging in age from 4 to 12 have been set up at CAW union halls and other labor organizations' facilities. The centers are open to both the union members and the general public. Each child care center is staffed with qualified personnel. The way it's being set up today is we have an ECE, which is the early childhood educator, along with some support staff. For every 10 children, there is going to be at least one ECE, and then after that, there would be support staff working with that ECE. The CAW National Executive Board has extended a line of credit from its strike fund to the Ontario Teachers Federation to assist them in their fight against the Harris government if the teachers are in need of it. National President Buzz Hargrove says the government should recognize the overwhelming support the teachers have from the public and withdraw the offensive parts of Bill 160 for further discussion. Ethel Lavallee, the vice president of the OFL and a member of the Common Front, called on union members, parents, and the general public to show their support for the teachers at a rally at Queen's Park at 1 p.m. Saturday, November the 8th. CAW, fighting back makes a difference.